सुधांशु त्रिवेदी जी सर इट वॉज द फर्स्ट अड्रेस बाय द ऑनरेबल प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया to the parliament after dawn of this new decade 2020 the address was full of aspirations and quite clearly highlighted the government policies priorities and plans for the upcoming year sir the president the honorable president has missed to assure the country and the parliament that the government shall focus on better implementation of the laws that have been enact enacted by this parliament when i am referring to here when i am i am referring to the implementation of enactment of laws i am referring to the ap reorganization act which has uh, failed to live up to the expectations of the 5 crore people of andhra pradesh sir i am asking what i am asking for from the government that the government should focus on economic situation and finances of the country more particularly the states which are really backward and ag agro agricultural based states like andhra pradesh as much as it does in the case of jammu and kashmir i am not opposing the financial aid to jammu and kashmir or karnataka or tamil or telangana i am only asking for andhra pradesh sir uh, in i i draw your kind attention to para 15 of the presidential address which quotes shyama prasad mukherji and talks of parity of rights of the citizens between the states when i see when i see that the government based on special needs of jammu and kashmir and other states of ladakh is giving extra finances this year and it does nothing in the case of andhra pradesh sir when i see that president has assured speedy establishment of iim and iit in the case of jammu and kashmir while iim in visakhapatnam is functioning out of temporary arrangement sir i come to the special category status my friend jairam ramesh ji claims that uh, he claims himself to be the author of the special uh, ap reorganization act and uh, i can say i sir this special category status which was promised by the the then the then prime minister of this country has not been given till date by the present government sir sc special category status is a condition as my friend friend is aware is a condition to pass ap reorganization act the very process of ap bifurcation is predicated upon the assurance of special category status therefore special category status is supplemental incidental and consequential to bifurcation sir there is no mention of special category status in the presidential address there is no mention of special category status when when the terms of reference have been framed in the 14th finance commission <laughs> there is no reference about the special category status when the terms of reference have been drafted in 15th finance commission sir the 14th finance commission member of 14th commission 14th finance commission chairman as well as the member sri govind rao and sri uh, dr abhijit sen giving in writing saying that 14th finance commission did not recommend anything on ses special, special category status whereas the ministers on various occasions ministers of nda on various occasions claimed that 14th finance commission did not accept the special category status to the residual state of andhra pradesh which is quite misleading uh, and uh, not, not warranted sir 15th finance commission did not recommend scs for ap when asked when in fact i draw your kind attention to the report of the 15th finance commission sir 15th finance commission says para 7.4 sir some states i i quote it sir some states have requested the grant of special category status this does not constitute part of the mandate of 
Finance Commission, 15th Finance Commission, and remains entirely in the domain of Union Government, remains entirely in the domain of Central Union Government, which can take appropriate decision after due considerations. Therefore, what I am trying to say, the ministers in NDA are misleading the Parliament by saying that the Finance Commission, 14th Finance Commission or 15th Commission, 15th Finance Commission did not accept for granting of special category status to the residual state of Andhra Pradesh. I really don't understand why uh, the UPA, which has uh, enacted this law, is keeping quiet in this regard. We are only demanding implementation of union cabinet decision. Union cabinet then, before the elections in the month of February 2014, taken a decision and that special category status would be granted to the residual state of Andhra Pradesh. Sir, coming to 15th Finance Commission, sir. Last due to 15th Finance Commission. How stepmotherly treatment has been given to the residual state of Andhra Pradesh? 15th Finance Commission submitted its report a one week back, last week. What is the criteria it has followed? The criteria adopted by 15th Finance Commission by, by virtue of the criteria, all southern states, whether it be Tamil Nadu or Karnataka or Andhra Pradesh or Telangana, all southern states, including AP, is losing because the criteria it has followed is population on the basis of 2011 census yes, yes. instead of 1971 census. Why is this injustice? Why a stop motherly treatment towards the southern states of uh, in, in this country? Sir, due to this, AP is losing, Andhra Pradesh is losing 1,521 crores and it has fallen like a bolt from the blue on Andhra Pradesh. Sir, because of the weightage, weightage to AP has come down from but to 15% on population parameter which resulted in 1,521 crores of loss. Penalizing, per, penalizing on the performance. Why? Because Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka have strictly implemented, strictly implemented the uh, um, family planning. Population control measures. Is it the sin that southern states have committed? So this question has to be answered, sir. Sir, 14th Finance Commission released the funds to the state of Andhra Pradesh at the rate of 4.3%, 4.305%, but 15th Finance Commission, because of this criteria, it has come down to 4.11% for, for, for the award period. It's an injustice that is meted to the Andhra Pradesh, sir. I demand that the special grant to, given to Telangana, Karnataka, and other states, including Jammu and Kashmir, on the similar lines, AP also should be given the spe special grant, sir. Sir, the next point, sir. In fact, sir, sir, CAG, Controller and Auditor General, has certified and approved the revenue deficit of Andhra Pradesh to the ex for 2014 and 15 to the extent of 16,075 crores, which central government has promised to be promised to reimburse, which has not been done, sir. If PRC arrears and deferred bills are also added to the 16,075 crores, then it comes to 22,948 crores. Government of India has given so far 3,979 crores. I request the government of India and the honorable, the honorable Prime Minister of the country to release the balance, am balance amount of 18,969 crores. Sir, Sir coming to the Polavaram project, Government of Andhra Pradesh has so far spent about 11,800, sir, two more minutes, sir, 11,860 crores on Polavaram. Government of India has given only 8,577 8, crores and the balance amount of 3,283 crores is yet to be released. Sir, the revised DPR and cost estimation of 55,548 crores was approved by the Technical Advisory Committee but pending before the government of India, sir. Sir, very important aspect, sir, which my friend uh, uh, Jairam Ramesh ji also is aware of it. Package for backward districts. 
and my friend has proposed in the in the in the act itself that the backwards backward districts of andhra pradesh seven districts under the, this is under section 46 subsection 3 of the reorganization act government of india for special package should be given to the state of andhra pradesh for these seven districts sir what has been given so far is only 1050 crores 1050 crores but what has been promised the package will be on the same similar lines of Bundelkhand, KBK, KBK district in Varissa and Bundelkhand in UP and Madhya Pradesh. If the package on the similar lines is worked out too, it will come to 24,350 crores. Whereas the government of India has so far given 1,050 crores. So this is definitely an injustice that is meted out to the state of Andhra Pradesh, sir. When it comes to the industrial incentive, sir, government of India is saying that post-GST, no industrial incentive would be given to any of the special category state states. It is not correct, sir. Government of India is misleading. Sir, as per 2017 notification, 27,000 crores have been allotted to 4,324 units in special category status states uh, till sunset period of March 2027. Sir, in 2018, Commerce Ministry has approved Northeast Industrial Development Scheme with 3,000 crores. It is up to Mar March 2020. <coughs> sir, last point. Already last point. Over. There is one Coming to the railway zone, sir. The railway zone has been incorporated. Ye and hai yes, sir. Over, sir. Last point, sir. Railway, la railway zone has been promised in the AP Reorganization Act. With great difficulty and with lot of fighting, the railway minister has finally approved to create a separate zone for Vishakapatnam, whereas the existing Vishakapatnam division has been dismantled, has proposed to be dismantled and then clubbed with the division of uh, Vijayawada Guntur, sir. Sir, which is totally not acceptable to the state of Andhra Pradesh. The last point, sir, I'll, I'll not extend. I'll not ask for any further time, sir. Vaijak Chennai Industrial Corridor. Sir, this is very important. How injustice is being done? Sir, government of India has taken up Mumbai Gurgaon Expressway connecting country to two most backward districts, Mewat in Haryana and Dahod in Gujarat. It costs about 60,000 crores. When the Vaisak Chennai Industrial Corridor is stipulated and enacted, in, included in the AP Reorganization Act, why government of India is not implementing it? When similar projects are, are being undertaken in the other parts of the country, why stepmotherly treatment to the state of Andhra Pradesh? I request the Andhra Pradesh, in conclusion, sir. एंटेंडी, वीडियो नच्चिंदा, आयते वो लाइक वेसकोंडी, लेदंटे वो कॉमेंट चेंडी, यपड़ी कप्डुमा वीडियो स्टूडालंटे, सब्सक्राइब चेसकोंडी.